Located in the Aegean Sea, off the southeastern coast of Greece, the Cyclades are an archipelago known for their mysterious marble idols that seem to predate most of the civilizations in the area, possibly beginning as early as the Early Bronze Age, from 3300 to 2000 BCE. The name Cyclades comes from the Greek root kiklos, meaning circle, cycle, or around, since they're said to circle around the island of Delos, which is believed by the ancient Greeks to be the birthplace of the god and goddess Apollo and Artemis. The islands didn't seem to be isolated in the Bronze Age, but instead rather active in trade with their mainland and Cretan neighbors, even as far as Asia Minor, or Anatolia, located in modern-day Turkey. This is mainly due to the fact that the islands are extremely rich in valuable resources such as lead, marble, and of course, copper and iron ores, and the Bronze Age saw the massive boom in the Cyclotic people exporting said mined materials. Historians divide the early Cyclotic civilization by three eras, Early Cyclotic 1, 2, and 3. But for simplicity's sake, I'll be referring to these periods as EC 1, 2, or 3. What stands out about the small cluster of islands the most are smoothly carved minimalistic idols made from marble and clay in a uniform folded arms position ranging on average to be up to 12 inches tall, with the largest found so far being just under 4 foot 9, or 1.5 meters. Studies of these figures reveal that they were once colored using mineral-based pigments like azurite for blue and cinnabar for red. These paints fill in the details on the otherwise bare figure, such as eyes and mouths, and can sometimes suggest cosmetics or jewelry. The exact purpose for these figures are currently unknown. Most that were found were excavated from graves and can't stand on their own, leading archaeologists to believe that they were used for funerary purposes, although given the fragmented knowledge we currently have regarding these, guess is as good as mine. The culture we associate these figurines with is known as the Karosiros culture, starting a bit after EC2, from the year 2700 BCE and lasting until 2300 BCE. This is named after two of the islands in the archipelago, Karos and Siros. The majority of these standardized idols are believed by historians to have been carved around that era of the Bronze Age, where the islands saw the aforementioned growing trade relations with the Greek mainland, Anatolia, and the Minoans in Crete, who happened to be growing in power around that same time. Speaking of the Minoans, the Cyclades were known to be in eventual contact with them in the form of quickly expanding trading network. Archaeologists concluded that the Minoans' contact with the Cyclades persisted from 2000 to 1500 BCE, where they found evidence of artifacts that seemed to be reminiscent of Minoan art. Despite being associated with the Minoans, the settlement of Akrotiri on the island of Thera, known today as Santorini, was just as Cyclatic as it is Minoan. It is referred to as Minoan settlement because of its findings in Linear A, the Minoans currently undeciphered writing system, similar fresco styles and artifacts found in the area, harkening back to the heavy Minoan influences on the islands. One theory Minoans kept in frequent contact and influence of the Cyclades could be that they were using the archipelago to gain access to trade with the Greek mainland.
era known as the Middle Cyclotic Period took place lasting from approximately 2000 to 1600 BCE, as it saw a change in its art and influence from their neighbors, namely the Minoans, as shown in pottery found on Thera. Around 1600 BCE, Thera saw one of the most devastating eruptions in human history, as it's agreed to be the catalyst of the slow downfall of the Minoans, who would in turn be replaced by the quickly rising Mycenaeans as a dominant power in the Aegean Sea. This shift of power would soon show its influence on the Cyclades, as the Mycenaeans would heavily influence the archipelago and the rest of the Aegean in the Minoans' absence. The Cyclades would then reflect the influence from one dominant neighboring culture to the next.